Hi guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. As you can see, for today's video, we are in a bit of a different environment. I'm currently in a hotel room because I am on vacation in Hawaii. And I love you guys so much that I walked my booty over to Sephora in Hawaii and picked up the Pat McGrath Labs Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Foundation. And today we are going to be doing a review and wear test. So if you are interested in seeing my thoughts on this foundation, how it holds up in the Hawaii humidity, then just keep watching. Yesterday, I went to Sephora and I documented this on my Instagram story. If you don't follow me on my Instagram, Morgan Turner Makeup, then you are not in the loop and you should be. I went in the morning right when it opened because I wanted to film it that day, get it up the next day for you guys. But unfortunately, when I got there, the display was completely empty and I was highly disappointed. I talked about it on my Instagram story. We were doing whatever activities throughout the day and then I happened to pop into Sephora again a few hours later and all of a sudden all of the foundations were there so my emotions were all over the place I was really upset and sad but luckily I'm happy I went back because I was able to pick it up Pat McGrath is coming out with a whole complexion set which is like a primer a foundation and a powder but currently in stores at sephora they only have the foundation if you go online on sephora.com they have the foundation powder and the primer but you cannot get it in stores my personal recommendation would be just for the best value for you guys if you are interested in purchasing more than one item besides just the foundation would be to go to your sephora get a foundation match and actually purchase from the pat mcgrath website because they actually have sets that are a better deal so you get a little bit of money off so just for example if i were to purchase all three complexion products that would be 183 dollars if you use the code and you get the set from online that is only going to be 135 dollars so i did go ahead and order that foundation set for you guys so i will review the whole complexion set once i get home from vacation so hopefully that will be at my house by the time I get there. So this is really part one of the Pat McGrath foundation line because I'm just doing the foundation today, which I think is great because I have a lot of time to give you a lot of insight on this foundation. So anyways, let me shut up, let's get into it. So the price of this foundation alone is $68. If you were to walk into Sephora today, that is how much that would cost. Inside you are getting 1.18 fluid ounces, which is a touch more than the normal one ounce foundation. It is described as a long-wearing customizable foundation that builds from sheer to medium coverage in a wide range of universal hues that manifest the ultimate sublime skin standard. So buildable coverage, natural finish. It is supposed to be for normal dry combination and oily skin. So they highlight a lot of important ingredients that are kind of more unique than other foundations. One being the unique polymers provide long-wearing ultimate smoothness and a luminous finish. High purity pigments treated with amino acids to deliver enhanced wear a creamy feel and controlled and easily buildable coverage and then the last ingredient that really excited me was the diamond core powder which enhances radiance and skin luminosity and decreases appearance of skin perfections one thing that I did notice about the ingredients that may turn someone off is that this foundation does have alcohol in the ingredients which can be very drying and bad for the skin personally <laughs> my skin goes through it I don't really care let's go over the packaging of this guy so it comes in a beautiful kind of soft matte box with the pat mcgrath logo and then you just pull the top off and here is the beautiful foundation it is in fact in a frosted glass bottle you have the pat mcgrath golden sticker on top and it's definitely more simple packaging but i like that simplicity is beautiful and it has a pump which obviously is very very important to me so i got mine in the shade light medium nine this is described as a light medium shade with a neutral pink undertone i personally do not really like pink undertones on myself but this was the most neutral that i could find it definitely looks a little bit more pink than the normal foundations that i choose but you know what this 
this is a really good match for me this is a little bit more tan than i would normally go i have a tendency to pick a little bit brighter on my skin but i really like this it goes really well with my body tan this is not going to look good on me in the winter so if i love this foundation i have to pick a different shade this is a really good color for me i really like it online it looks like there are 36 shades the shades are broken up into categories like light light medium 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 deep deep and then within each color category there is a different undertone so there's some yellow undertones some pink undertones some peach undertones you'll just have to take a look for yourself i personally consider myself to have more of a neutral undertone there is not a shade that is just a neutral undertone which is why i went for the pink undertone shade i know i've just jibber jabbered a whole bunch but i did want to make sure i got all of the information out for you guys so i did wear this foundation yesterday without setting it just so i could give you a little bit insight about my experience yesterday and today as well on my skin currently i just have some la mer moisturizer and clay de po sunscreen because i am in hawaii and i'm sorry i'm not risking my skin for this video so let me zoom into the skin so as you can see i have some acne scarring along my jaw and my cheek over here so perfect time to test this foundation out one thing i did notice immediately about the consistency of this foundation is it is very liquidy so just be aware you can see um, it definitely feels lightweight, just the texture of it on my hand. Now I am going to use my finger to spread it out. This is just my favorite way to apply foundations. I just did a half a pump to show you. So this is supposed to be from sheer to medium coverage. So I'm going to start off by showing you what a sheer layer would be like. I definitely agree with that statement because yesterday i did notice it was a very nice lightweight buildable formula on the skin but it definitely does not go past a medium coverage it sticks pretty much from sheer to medium i personally like a medium coverage so that's perfect for me i like seeing a little bit of my skin through so this is what i would consider a sheer coverage it blurred my skin so i think that looks really nice i can see the blurring properties uh, this is a sheer coverage but my skin just looks smoother softer uh, so it definitely blurs and it looks really nice so i'm going to add another squirt this is a whole squirt and we're gonna add another layer i like to focus that coverage first on my acne scars so you can see how it builds So as you can see with that second coat, it did a much better job at covering those acne scars. And I don't know guys, I think this looks really, really beautiful on the skin. So we're working on pump two and a half right now. I'm really happy with the coverage right here. So I'm just going to apply in the areas that I want some more coverage, which is my cheek area. And then there was some redness peeking through right here that I did want to give a little extra attention to and honestly you're not going to get too much more coverage than this because you don't want to cake it on or build up too much product because that's going to cause the foundation to break up and just look not as good so i'm going to stop here so like i said it's a medium coverage but it looks really good so i'm going to finish up this half i just wanted to show you the comparison from side to side i'm really really happy with how this looks So here's the amount of coverage that I'm going to go for today. So what I noticed immediately about this foundation is how light it feels on my skin. Uh, it really does feel like I'm wearing nothing. And you can tell that right away from just putting the foundation on the back of your hand. It is such a lightweight foundation and there is a luminosity to it. I guess that's that crystal powder, but my skin has a beautiful luminosity. Now, yesterday when I wore this foundation, I actually didn't set it at all and that luminosity was gorgeous but today I am going to do a little bit of setting so I'm about to go off camera 
finish the rest of my face and I'll be right back. Um, as far as setting goes, I'm going to put on a little bit of concealer, nothing too crazy. And I'm just going to get a little bit of powder on my brush and lightly set kind of my T-zone and under eye areas. And then I will let the bronzer, blush, and highlight kind of do the rest of the setting around the face. So I will be right back. Alright, so I have just completed the face and um, even through the powder, it looks really nice. And I don't know if you can tell, but it also looks very loose luminous as well and it's not too luminous like sweaty but you can just see a little bit of that shine kind of coming through on the skin and I'm really loving how natural it looks and how lightweight it feels you can definitely see the blurring now I will say yesterday when I did wear this foundation I actually did not set it and I did notice my smile lines creasing up pretty early on so i did set that today so we will see how that holds up so it is eight o'clock so far i am loving it i'm loving how it looks on the skin i'm going to go to the dry bar next hopefully they don't mess up my makeup when they're doing my hair i will keep you guys updated throughout the day a little bit better so I'm thinking this is not the most long wearing foundation but it definitely looks really nice and natural if you have really oily skin you might not like this foundation but it's only five hours in so I will update you guys all right so it is almost four o'clock so we are now checking into my eight hours so this is going to be the final check-in because I just want to get this off my face but Basically, last update, I was really, really sweaty and my face was wet. I've since sat in the air conditioning, so everything's kind of settled down. And I have to say, given those circumstances, my skin is looking pretty nice. It didn't seem to disrupt the foundation too much. I think given the weather and the activity that I've been doing today, it has held up pretty well. I definitely can see some fading in the coverage as the day has gone by. Uh, for light setting, I think that it looks really, really good. I think to get the most out of this foundation, the best thing that you can do is powder throughout the day, especially when you get a little bit shiny and sweaty. I did not do that just for the sake of this video, but that's going to elongate your wear time much much more this is done pretty well in the way of sinking into lines I can see a little bit of sinkage occurring but it's nothing too obvious um, it's not really emphasizing them too much it has broken down a little bit around my nose but other than that it looks good I did notice a little bit of transferring if I were to take a paper towel to my face a little bit of the foundation will come off so just be aware of that but overall just for today I feel like it's been a really comfortable foundation it's not extreme in any area meaning it's not really super long wearing which isn't a bad thing it's not super moisturizing or super drying it's not super glowy it's a happy in between it's just a natural foundation and I think this is a really great everyday foundation I think if you have more normal to dry skin this is better suited for your skin type oily skin people you are gonna have to work with some powder and hopefully I'm thinking once I try out the powder maybe that will aid in the areas that this foundation lacked but I mean overall I'm really liking it so far for $70 it is a bit pricey so I don't necessarily know that it is worth the money it really is not one of my favorite foundations but I do like it quite a lot I can't wait to continue wearing it and make sure you subscribe to my channel for when I do the whole complexion video I'm going to update on this foundation because I plan on wearing it every day until I receive that foundation so I can really give you some good insight but for my second impression second time wearing this I really like it I think it did a really nice job in this weather because this weather is not easy on the makeup so thank you guys for coming along with me today I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful let me know if you're picking up this foundation and your experiences with it down below if you have purchased it I'm interested in hearing especially about other skin tones other skin types make sure you comment that down below I always like to pin a good comment that might be helpful to other people thank you guys for watching I hope to see you guys in my next video bye guys have a good one